it appears that it's something we're working on. It looks like it. Sometimes we're consciously working on it and sometimes it's getting worked on. And uh, it's basically you don't reach full self-realization if your third eye is not open. But then it's the all-seeing eye. So it's the higher vision, it's the eagle eye, that you start to begin to see things from a higher perspective of a different way, different place, with a much bigger level of understanding. So we can get to the needy greedy parts of it of saying okay i'm working my on my own third eye i'm doing third eye activation by the way i do have a third eye activation training uh video uh, that you can f find it on my website but um basically the if we're actively consciously we're working on the third eye and we're doing different exercises or we're doing diet whatever it is but overall there's a um, the subject of third eye when we're talking maybe I should be talking about this more in detail next week but the a lot of people think that third eye activation means okay your third eye opens up and all of a sudden then you're having all these psychic abilities or you're able to do time traveling uh, or having access to um, trans-dimensional beings uh, and things like that these things do happen uh, or could happen in various ways when you're having your third eyes opening up but that's not exactly the goal when it we in ultimately when we're talking about third eye activation or when i view it from this point of view today when i'm looking at it is for me third eye activation it's a value is far more into an expand, expanded vision that it has helped me to a much greater sense of awareness than I am this person I got all these emotional issues my third eye is opened up but it's limited now, let's say I've developed some healing abilities or uh, psychic abilities but emotionally I'm still a mess so what a lot of people that I've seen in the community are mistaken is they want their third eye to open up but there's still this self-awareness mechanism of, of looking at themselves and becoming aware of their reactions, emotional reactions or, or mental reactions. They're avoiding that part. They're missing out that part and not recognizing it. So they think third eye activation is a prize, is that I learn how to get my third eye activated now this is a trophy now this is a um, I can use this power for personal gain I, I got my third eye activated now I'm going to manifest uh, money I'm going to manifest a new partner so they're missing out on that from that point of view is it making any sense uh, Iman Yes, thank you so much. It actually makes a lot of sense and reassurance for me uh, personally. My other, my other inquiry was, in your opinion uh, or in your guidance, while we're uh, daily meditation, um, 
You mentioned several classes back um, that to be aware of the triggers, what triggers you. So in our journey, besides our daily meditations and exercises, when we're going through our regular um, lives, when something triggers us, what is your recommendation right there when we notice that something triggers us? For instance, for me, um, let's say my 10 year old does something, spills the milk on the kitchen counter and it aggravates me and I notice it. And then I work on, it's okay, it's no big deal, it's not real, blah, blah, blah. What else do you recommend that we do when we notice certain things like triggers? Right. Um, it's also the recognition of your aggravation is a part of the totality. And if you get angry or you just yell at him, that is also acceptable. I've been working not to do that. <laughs> you know, first comes that self-awareness. Self, you First you become aware that you're getting aggravated. Okay, which majority of people, they're not... They just get aggravated. There is no self-awareness of it. Then they get angry and they snap back at the child, right? So, and they're being parent. Then awareness comes. Now there is an awareness that you get aggravated. So, and you respond to that, whatever that is. Maybe you suppress it or maybe you snap back at him. Then there is another step after that, is that you realize that even that aggravation and that snapping back at the, the child is also a part of the totality, and that's okay too. But now there is awareness there. So this kind of aggravation and snapping back is different than when there was no awareness. Right. Is there something we need to do be in addition to the awareness? Like what comes after awareness, I think, is what I'm asking. What What do I do when I'm, I'm aware? Now it seems to be like I'm constantly working on my awareness. So I'm aware, but then I don't know what to do with this awareness. Okay, so I'm aware, and then what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Then, then the next step is you realize that you surrender into it and you relax into it because it will take care of everything and it will provide and bring, present anything that you need at any given moment. So you just surrender to it. You just pull back, you just sit with it. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, is it making sense? Did I answer your question? Do you feel satisfied? Yes, yes. Yeah. Yes, very much. Thank yeah. You so much. Exactly. Great. Yeah. Wonderful, intelligent questions. Thank you. So tomorrow we're going to have our uh, shamanic healing circle and there's still space for if anybody wants to sign up, you can go to my website, uh, go to the calendar events and click on the event. You scroll down and there is a button that where you can uh, register. Uh, on Friday, we're going to start the self Awakening Mastery Workshop, and uh, and it's very much related to the topic of today. And we still do have room for uh, anybody who would like to join in. It's a three-day workshop. It starts from 9 a.m. till 1 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. Four hours each day. And uh, the Self Mastery Workshop 
is I'm going to be helping you, uh, equipping you with the tools and helping you to learn how to become the master of your mind, how to be able to hold the reins, reins in, your, in your hands instead of sitting on this powerful wild horse that runs everywhere and you can't control it and it, you suffer from it because at any moment you may fall off the horse and break your neck and that's what the mind does it takes you everywhere a lot of places mostly past and future and it makes you suffer but once you become aware and learn how you can observe the mind and separate yourself from it, then everything starts to change and this incredible powerful horse becomes your servant and it begins to serve you. So we will also be using active meditations. I have some wonderful active meditations set up for you which helps us to raise our vibrations to a higher frequency and what happens is change happens when you're able to raise rise your vibrations to a higher frequency and you're able to sustain the state you're able to stay here not falling back so the active meditations that I've designed for this work is specifically aiming at changing things within you in the cellular memory. Because what we do in therapy, we're trying to implement changes, but changes don't take place in cellular memory. So the memory is still in the cells. So what we need to do is changing the memory by raising vibrations to a higher frequency and sustaining this level, learning how to sustain it so we don't fall back into the old patterns, which is very easy to do. And that's the, the goal. And that's what we're going to be doing. So either I'll see you tomorrow or, or both tomorrow and over the week, uh, weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And if not, uh, we're going to continue the Academy uh, next Wednesday, same time. Thank you for joining me. Um, all of these broadcasts are going to be on my YouTube channel. And the YouTube channel is Zaratustra. 5d and make sure you subscribe to it we're continuously regularly uploading new videos on our youtube channel as well as my podcast uh, all of these uh, um, uh, events our recordings of the academy uh, goes on my podcast that you can uh, listen to it it's almost by the next day or next couple of days it's up uh, those of you who are on our system on the Zoom, uh, you will you receive an email from us and we'll send you the copy of this recording. Um, and sometimes there is gifts, there's meditations that we continuously uh, produce and we put it on my website. You can visit my website, uh, zaratustra.tv and uh, see what's going on. We update the website uh, regularly with brand new programs, events, medita free meditations, videos, uh, whatever that we can. Um, also, if you have any questions or comments, you want to contact me, you're welcome to write to me on uh, at uh, info at zaratustra.tv. That's our email, info at zaratustra.tv and the website is zaratustra.tv. I look forward to seeing you again. 
Sending you lots of love and light. Namaste. Thank you.